Hey there, welcome to Lupin. My name is Amay and I lead product at Lupin. Lupin is a single source of truth for all your meetings and its outcomes. Improve workplace meetings and assist hybrid teams in value creating collaborations. In short, Lupin will help you run contextual meetings. In this video, we'll talk about the two most recommended workflows on Lupin. Let's get started. Meetings are an inevitable part of your workday. Oftentimes, you're lost in finding the right context for the meetings. What did we last discuss? When did we last meet? What are the pending tasks? The meeting widget on the top refers to your ongoing or upcoming meetings. Before starting any of your meeting, Lupin provides you a quick recap of what was discussed in your previous meeting. Just hit the recap button and you'll see all the discussion points from your previous meeting. If there are any pending action items, you could start with that context. Once you've started the meeting, take collaborative meeting notes with your team. Create and assign action items. And once your meeting is completed, just send notes via Gmail, Slack or Notion. You can expand or collapse this note using the arrow icon or simply enter into the meeting workspace to get a focused view. In the meeting workspace, Lupin has enabled meeting automations for you. For Slack, you can select the Slack channel, set a time after which you want to send the meeting minutes and just click save. To create a private note, click on the private note button and start creating a private note. Once you've taken the private note, you can share it by clicking on the share note button and these notes are shared with the team to collaborate on. Now let's head over to the second recommended workflow. Time blocking is an effective way to improve focus and boost productivity. Head over to your task section. Lupin will triage all your tasks from multiple sources to help you plan better. Start adding your tasks for the day or week to your backlog. Once your backlog is curated, simply drag these tasks and add them on various days of the week to plan them. You can even add tasks directly on those specific days. Once you've added tasks to your week, open your day calendar and simply drag these tasks on any of the days that you want to schedule. You can even block time to do your task by going to the plan page, head over to your backlog and drag these tasks on calendar. And Lupin will block time for you to perform these tasks. To set a recurring task, click on the task menu and set the recurrence of these tasks. Once you've completed these tasks, check them off to clear your list. If you're interested to know how you spend time in meetings, check out the Lupin Analytics on today's page. That's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, reach out to us via the help chat and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.